through, through the years, really what we've been working with is how to actually design an interface that works with the remote control. Uh, we generally use the up and down and the left and right buttons. Uh, there is no keyboard, there is no mouse. We can see or show you know, TV services where you need a keyboard and a mouse to make it work. And we can understand that that's really not what TV is about. Uh, we do understand that tablets are there as a companion device, but when you look at the actual numbers of devices out in the market, you can't take it for a tablet. It has to be a, a secondary device. The majority of devices will, will need to be controlled by remote control. And if you look at the figures, the industry is linked to 28 million connected TVs by 2014 in the UK, which is you know, kind of saturated. You ain't going to have 20 million you know, companion devices trying like to control those TVs. So a lot of it is the interactivity from the remote control, um, really exposing the right content to the right time. A linear journey, you, you can't jump through areas on the middle of the screen and, and press click to play. So it, it's really how you're taking people through those. Um, and, and I think the main thing we're saying is don't replicate the web on the TV. And, and I think if you look at some of the areas, even, even the film and Nile player, it's really kind of taken a, a web-based approach to what is delivered over the, the TV. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to actually uh, switch over to the All3 Media app, um, and I'm going to let this play and talk over a few bits and pieces as go. So on the right hand side, you see the actual um, the remote control. So please look at that, and you'll see what's happened. We just click the entry button to get into the actual into the app. As soon as you're in the app we start playing your video. The first piece of video you'll see is actually an overview of the app. So um, that clip runs the first five times you actually go into the app and then it's no longer there just to remind you what the content is. Straight away we've moved from the intro to um, the first clip of the show which is out there. Uh, so that's what we're trying to say is um, get involved in the actual content which is on there. Uh, this is going to play for like uh, about 30 seconds as this clip and then we'll see how the remote control the right side controls it moving forward. So if you look at the bottom there, you can actually uh, watch the full show, show, skip the current preview by hitting the left or right, or the up key actually explores or shows which actually on the uh, on the actual service. We press the skip button there, so that's the, the right hand button, and it's gone to the next bit of video, which is playing within the actual app. The up button is starting to expose uh, the content in the app and now we're clicking left and right through the actual playlist uh, that we've actually got there as well. Uh, we've actually kind of clicked one of those episodes, we've gone straight to that piece of video uh, to actually kind of find out. Uh, see that? Hello. Uh, but we want to say, we don't want to see what your featured shows are, we've gone up again, we want to see all of the shows, we're going to hunt for a little bit of content on there as well. So we're now getting okay, over so to skins what sort of music to music? see the pair of series of skins we've got into series what 6 do you do and we're going to select, select a piece of content from that. So we'll open up a bit of information about that and then and select that content. So well, these are all clips at the moment. Um, I'm so sorry. And now we're going to go through uh, the purchasing. The, the purchasing is integrated with uh, the Pay Wizard payment uh, solution. Um, you haven't got the full user journey here, but, but it's quite simple to actually select the content you've got there, uh, put in your passcode, which is linked to your uh, payment wallet, and then you've actually purchased that piece of content. You're now getting the whole of that uh, individual episode.
So, so that's the top line of the um, of the application. Uh, a few things about that. So that's done with um, with all three media, uh, one of the largest UK uh, production companies, and, and they really are actually looking at experimenting in how they actually go direct to um, you know get closer to the consumers with their proposition. Um, it's uh, got the uh, papers and payment system actually integrated into the, the into our platform, which is actually uh, used used here as well. So it's like really linking the actual payment wallet up with um, the uh, the actual TV app, uh, and also the we've got Uyala as a video delivery platform, which is delivering into the application as well. So one of the video coming from the Uyala CDN and, and, and through to our application as well. Um, I think the, the main thing we're trying to do there is. I don't know if it, how many of you have seen the apps which are actually out there in the app store. You'll find even the video based ones are hunt for a piece of content, uh, select a piece of content, watch it, and then generally you make a decision about whether you want to look for another piece of content. Whereas what we're trying to do is we really are trying to present linear based TV for an individual, just like they're watching a channel. Uh, when we actually go into that app or that channel, we want to engage them as long as possible. The longer we engage them, the more opportunity we have to actually sell them further content or, or introduce advertising elements into the, the, the video. Um, so that's uh, top line of that. Now I'm going to show you another video, uh, which is on a similar take to the one we've actually shown there. So this is of our Suggest TV platform as applied to movies. Again, You've gone into the app and it's starting to play video for you. And again, it's just, as you can see, it's the same framework. Play one piece of video uh, until you actually decide to start interacting with the application. So we flick to the next piece of video there. Now we've actually pressed the up key to see what the feature movers are. Uh, going around to the feature movers, we're selecting a, an item of video there as well. Now we've gone up again here, this is a bit different. So this is metadata driven menus. And here we're actually saying uh, we only want to see comedy movies. So it's rechanging the playlist based around what content we want to see. Uh, and we can learn from what users do. If they're always skipping the horror movies, then we don't actually recommend or put those elements into, into these areas as well. Sorry, there's a little bit of glitch in the video there. Um, what we've just done there is, again, we've actually selected that piece of content, we've purchased that piece of content, and now it's going to play full screen that, that piece of content. I think that uh, video has, has died on us a little bit. So I'll, I'll close that down as well. So re really, that's a probably a top line of uh, what we intend to uh, to showcase or talk about. And, and we've got about five minutes or ten minutes to actually have uh, any questions about uh, the apps or any of these kind of elements that you've got any questions on. So I'll throw it open to the floor. Thank you very much. Does anyone have any questions?